Hey, and welcome back to Cat's Kentucky Corner. I'm Katrina. <clears throat> Today, I have a collective haul for you. It's been sitting in the corner of our old bedroom, and I'm like, I've got to get this filmed and get this stuff put away. Some things I put away, and I tried to dig back out to show you, and I may have missed a few things. But most of it is kind of Halloween or spooky vibes um, stuff. We have things, one thing from Michael's, several from Target, shocker. Uh, Bath and Body Works. Um, sorry, I got to tickle up my cat. Lita's giving me this look like, who are you talking to, Mom? <laughs> uh, some Walmart. Uh, TJ Maxx. And yes, PetSmart, Miss Lita over there. Something I snagged for my kitty cats that we didn't need. They have toys galore, but Mama wanted to get it for them. <laughs> I'm trying to think if that's all the places. I think so. And I have no um, rhyme or reason of how I start things here because I've got stuff stuck in other bags probably that don't belong there. But anyway, enough yip yap. And um, I'm going to show you the things. There are times I will admit that I buy things and I end up returning them. I've already returned two things that I've purchased that I thought I wanted. I get caught up in the moment. I get excited just like I do around Christmas time and I start picking up things. And who knows, I think I'm keeping most of this, but there is a possibility I may return it. I don't know, but I think we're keeping it. I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> the first thing I want to show you is not anything I bought. Um, my cousin's wife I'm very close with wanted to get me something when my aunt passed away. And she's like, I didn't want to do flowers or anything like that. So I call it a Katrina gift because she got me something that has nothing really to relate to the normal gift that you would give someone if someone passed away, but that's okay. I love it. She knows what I like, and um, I was very tickled with it. You know, apparently she got it at TJ Maxx because I can see the ripped off tag right there, but it is a Nightmare Before Christmas snow globe with Jack, and there's um, Zero. I don't think there's anybody else, just a spider and some graves. Uh, I can't remember what it plays. I know the song, but I can't put it in my head. I don't feel like it's anything from the movie, though. Am I mistaken? I don't know. If you figure it out, put it in the comments. But, um, it has little black and orange speckles that, for the snow... And I just, I really loved it. And I wanted to share it in this video because I know she watches my videos. And she'll say, hey, better show what I got you. No, <laughs> she's not completely like that. <laughs> Let me set that over here. But I do have a Halloween time. And I'll show you guys. Um, on my piano over here, when I, I haven't decorated yet, but it's coming up soon. Uh, I have, like, I call it my little Nightmare Before Christmas Tim Burton fun that I stick on top of there. And that's going to probably be added to that bunch of stuff. I love it. So, thank you, Tammy. Um, okay. Where do I go from here? I don't even know, guys. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bounce back and forth. And I'm sorry. I apologize. Because these two things, um, I had to pull out because they were already stored away. So, this is Tree Hut. You can get it at Ulta, Walmart, and Target, I believe. And if I'm missing other places that sell it, okay. But um, they do scrubs and they do um, this whipped body moisturizer. My friend Casey bought me last Christmas the peppermint one. I already had the scrub. She got me the, the whipped body cream. And I'm telling you, I really love the texture of this. Like, I'm really... Um, weird about certain lotions and stuff. I don't like feeling gloopy or gloppy and greasy or whatever. Oh, it smells so good. I got pumpkin pop for fall. And, yeah, whipped shea body butter. That's what it looks like on the inside. And it's called pumpkin pop. And I just, if I were to recommend something, I would recommend this, guys. Um, I still have some peppermint for Christmas as well, and I liked it. But, um, tree hut. Love it. I also got this from ColourPop. I ordered it. It is one of their eyeshadows. And it's, I love that they collaborate with different 
pop culture stuff, and this is Twilight. Were you guys Twilight fans? I was. I remember that whole phase of being obsessed with Twilight. Were you Team Edward or Team Jacob? I was Team Edward. Uh, yeah, I was. I liked him a lot. Uh, that actually got me back into reading, so yay for Twilight. The colors I really love, um, there's grays and silvers, and I like those color eyeshadows. But you also have Bell, Bella and Edward right there. And then those are the pretty shades. I've been using this one a lot. As you can tell, there's already a dent in the pan. But I wanted to share it with you guys because some of us love makeup. I know I do. All right. Let's do Bath and Body Works. I'm going to start this. They did one. Now, I'm not going to show you my lotion or lotion. My wallflower refills or my soaps because i mean i got halloween scents when they were on sale i always wait till they go on sale and then i try to use a coupon as well because i get coupon scent but they did do 50 percent off of halloween and i did get the ghoul friend and pumpkin carving candles as well but they're not in here so when they did 50 percent off halloween i snatched this little candle holder up because well if you don't know by now, I am a cat lady. So, I just thought it was really pretty. And did I need this? Absolutely not. I have a cute uh, candle holder that is a pumpkin from one year. But this one is going to probably go in our bedroom just on our dresser for decoration. I couldn't beat it because it, I can't remember what it originally was. What was it? It was, yeah, like 30 bucks. So, Got it for 15 and I probably had a coupon too. I don't know. Anyways, that's one item. Speaking of pop culture, the styrofoam stuff gets everywhere. I love Stranger Things, and they did a Stranger Things collab. Now, I really, really love the candle holders they had for that, but I just could not make myself pull the trigger on it, and then I was like, where am I going to put it? But those were phenomenal. They were great. Um, I will show you, I did get one of the soaps, the Demogorgon one, and I was, now they did do, um, the first collab they did was just candles, and I think the scents for those were more, I would say, girly-ish, more, I, I liked them, I didn't snag any of them, and they kept saying, chapter two coming soon, well, chapter two, I don't know, I, they're, they're different types of smells, um, I joked and called them more boyish or man smells. I don't know. Maybe I'm being stupid. Like one of them's Eddie's leather jacket. But anyway, I did get um, the upside down. I think it was the only wallflower they did with the scent. Um, I did get the Demogorgon. It's not bad. Um, <laughs> Demogorgon candle is one of those. The more I smelled it. The more I liked it, but my first smell, I was like, woo. And I can't remember. I think I did a short on it. So, if you look at the short, it tells you what all the um, notes and stuff are in it. So, there's that. I don't feel like they're ever going to come out with the last season of that. I just joked and said the kids will be like adults at this point. They only did um, one of the sanitizers. I mean, one of the scents in a sanitizer, and it was the upside. I'll do it like that. Upside down. <laughs> so, there's that. Oh, and you know my love for sanitizer holders. Lord help me. I got the Demogorgon one. Put the sanitizer in there. And then this one. I know there's a button somewhere. Yeah. You've seen the show, you know the representation of what that means with the light bulbs. Will, are you talking to me? Okay, I'm being silly. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I think that's all the bath and body I have to share with you guys. I think. So I'm going to set that down there. I have only one thing I think from Michael's. Now look, I, if you've seen my videos at Christmas time, I do have um, several um, <laughs> collection of 
Christmas Nutcrackers. We have like three Halloween ones and I'm not trying to get a crazy collection for Halloween Nutcrackers. But we do have a Frankenstein and Michael's had this little bride of Frankenstein. And I thought she was fun. So there she is in all her glory. Spooky glory. Okay, that's that. Um, we'll save Target to last. Let's do some random things. PetSmart had Netflix collaborations as well. They did uh, Squid Games and um, Stranger Things, which I have still debated about something for my kiddos with that. But that said Wednesday, and I love Wednesday as well. So, they had, let's see if I can get it to show up. It's like Wednesday and her outfit. There we go. And I've gone blank of what this girl's name is in the series with her colorful outfit. But they're like little um, balls. I don't know if they have catnip in them or not, but they're for kitty cats. And I just thought it was cute. Oops. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. Um, TJ Maxx. So you can catch really cool Bobble Bar, which I love Bobble Bar. Um, and they have some of the Disney collaboration ones. I really wanted, I'd seen on some videos where Toy Story uh, Bobble Bar collaborations were showing up in TJ Maxx, but I could never find them. When I saw some of the villains were showing up, I'm like, well, I'm not going to probably find that either. But I was in the checkout line and poof, there they were, the ones I wanted. And it is Cruella de Vil. You not be able to catch it real good. They don't sometimes do the faces, they just leave them blank. But you can, if you look carefully, the light's glaring on it. Her white hair is right there and her black hair on that side. I thought they were cute. Uh, people who know me know that I did dress up as Cruella de Vil. At a school event once and there we go she may pop up again she does tell her to swing by cats kentucky corner all right this i did not buy myself but my husband got it for me he was at walmart and saw it and thought it was cute little pumpkin and then boop boo little baby ghost I just thought I would share it in this video as well. You can find him at Walmart. Okay, let me lift this up. Oh, I just realized a couple of things I totally forgot. Of. Oh, well, it is what it is. Hang on, guys. It's like Christmas. I can't. And I forgot about these. The bath and body works. Let me get those out. Okay, I did, I love when Bath & Body Works does really cute um, wallflower, wallflower plug-ins, especially if they're night lights as, as well. I do have too many probably the Halloween ones, but I may just switch out one for this one. I thought it looked like a wicked potion. Remind me of something the Evil Queen would drink in Snow White. <laughs> There's our Disney reference, right? And then the little spider. I just thought it was cute. So... I remember getting that, and as I said, I do use the coupons when I go there, and I snagged this little guy. It's, um, I think I got vampire blood to put inside there as my smell for my car, because my car's got to be a little spooky Halloween, too. There it is. Woo! Okay, what I remembered I forgot. Old Navy, at the end of July, did 50% off everything in the store. I snagged a little t-shirt that is orange pumpkins all over it. Little bitty pumpkins with little black cats peeking their head out. Really cute. The other thing I snagged was, I love Ghostbusters. And I think it was in the men's department, but 50% off. 
made it like 10 bucks. So, original Ghostbuster guys, the ones I love. So there's that. Okay. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Bless you for watching. All right, let's let's do let's do Target. All right. Again, my cats do not need toys or Halloween toys. They've got plenty, and Lita's looking at me right now, saying, "Give me those, Mom. I want to play with them." <laughs> the look you, I wish you could see. Anyways. They're little um, candy corn guys, and they do have catnip in them. Lita loves when there's feathers on stuff. She likes to lick it. But sometimes she'll, it's so funny. If we're gone, sometimes we notice little toys like this laying on our bed that they've brought to us. Sometimes we wake up with toys in our bed. <laughs> little cat toys everywhere around this house. Anyway, I thought it was adorable. So there's that. This is so cute. It is a little claw clip and it's of a little boo guy. So there's that in all its glory. All right, here we go with the felt duo. We have little um, pumpkin uh, trick or treat bucket with a candy bar cute people are complaining online and i agree they are a little flimsier this year like the hands don't have any kind of wire in them so like you gotta be real delicate with it but that didn't stop me from purchasing all right let's get to the other one um <laughs> A vampire with his blood. Really cute. I got one bird. Of course, the kitty cat one. And he's dressed up like a, a pumpkin and a cat. Some people didn't like this because the mouth. They didn't like a bird having a mouth on. But I thought it was cute. And it was cat related, so. The other felt duo I got. Who my nose is itching, guys. I'm so sorry. Ugh. Um, little zombie guy with brains. Brains. <laughs> Anyways, there's that one. That one might be my fave. I know it is. Um, I picked up this little dish towel set because it's great for fall since it's just pumpkins and my kitchen is coral and has teal in it and then this one can be used anytime and it's coral so I like that as well this was in the dollar section Oops, there we go Boom. okay what else is in here that was all the felt zeros okay um, my husband and I picked this out to do I normally, I haven't bought one of these in a long time, but I did it because it's Gremlins. I love 80s references and stuff. So there's the little thing of paint with the sponge and then you stick arms, legs, and head into the pumpkin afterwards. So he's fun, at least in my eyes, right? Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. I apologize. But hey, who doesn't love a good haul? If you click this video, you must like hauls too. Okay, oh, yeah, bubble bar, sugar fix. I love, oh, oh gosh, I thought it was broken, sorry. Um, I love sugar fix bubble bar. We all know by now if you're following me. And I was so excited when they had their Halloween stuff out. So we got the little mummies hiding in pumpkins. And this one is um, pumpkin, witch hat, and bats. They're real lightweight. They're not heavy. So I just thought that was very adorable. Every year I'm like, there's no way they're going to top them. Top what they did last year. They're just going to repeat themselves. And they do, to some degree, repeat some things with a twist. 
but then they come up with something new and it's like, oh, I love it. All right, let's get to close at Target. Um, this was like really early on in the season. Like I think most Targets are sold out of these by now. I don't know what the online situation looks like with it. Have you seen Beetlejuice Beetlejuice yet? We did, and I love it. I love the, of course, original number one, but this was a fun, fun movie to watch. But this one's just Beetlejuice in general. Now, I don't know if it glows in the dark. I haven't attempted to see if that is the case, but it's got all this design on the back. I love a good sweatshirt, cozy. And it's nice and soft on the inside. That's that. And <clears throat> this one I love. I love that it's baby blue. I love baby blue. I know that's not a fall color, but Goosebumps. Did you read R.L. Stein books when you were in school? Goosebumps. I always liked it. And scary stories to tell in the dark. I would check those out all the time at, at um, my school's library when I was a kid. I always liked Halloween. So there it is, the beginning of it. Okay, real quick, found this at Five Below. I had it stuck in a bag. It's a Funko Pop keychain, Beetlejuice. They have a lot of cute Beetlejuice and Wednesday. And um, there is some Gremlin stuff as well. A Nightmare Before Christmas at Five Below. So... If you're into the thing, I would highly recommend checking it out. Okay. This is it, I think. You're like, hallelujah, right? This my husband picked up for me. And I was shocked he could find it. But it says, Boogie. And look at the little ghost. It's, it's trending. It's filling the vibes. Has its little fanny belt pack around it with probably a Starbucks drink. Feeling bougie. <laughs> Says it glows in the dark too, but I love it. Thought it was cute. And that was my friend that goes with me to Vegas. Our first trip, that was the words we used all the time. That's a bougie outfit. That's a bougie outfit. My husband thought it was funny, so he's like, yeah, you need that shirt. And I was like, okay. I'm not going to argue with you. This, um, gosh, it smells so good. My friend and I were just at Walmart over the weekend and she had to pick up some wax melts for her mom and we were looking at them. These are like pumpkin marshmallow crispy treats. And you know what? I love this. Now my husband had a Scentsy, um, uh, the, what do you call them? Melters, burners, whatever. And I hadn't plugged it in forever. And I had to clean out the old wax in that. And I put this in, and it has smelled so good. I smell it throughout the house, I feel like. And I love Bath and Body Works, but these, more than those uh, wallflowers, really stand out to me. But that is a yummy scent if you find that one. Um, this isn't Halloween, but it's fall. And I thought it was really cute top. It's kind of like a burnt orange and black and white. It's the bottom of it. It's got the little ruffle sleeves or fluttery sleeves. So there's that. This I don't know if I'm keeping, but I haven't even tried it on yet. But I thought it was cute. It goes kind of September and I would wear it November as well. Halloween time, I wear too much Halloween shirts, but just this Howdy Pumpkin. Again, from Walmart. Really cute. They had a lot of cute tops this year as well. Let's see. What is that? Oh, okay. Sorry, something in my bag I totally forgot about that I needed to return. So good thing I'm uh, <laughs> going through it. We need a new yard flag for Halloween. Ours has been pretty beat up the last few years. So this one just says, hey, boo. It's got some cute ghosts on it. And, oh, nope, there's two things. I apologize. These earrings, only $5, and they look like some earrings that Sugar Fix did last year. Let me zoom in on them. 
They're just really cute though. My friend liked mine so much, she got a pair. Let's see. Okay, last thing I bought. Okay, it's just a silly thing I bought. It was five bucks. Um, my husband and I like spooky and silly spooky kind of movies. I love Nick Cage. I heard he's in a really creepy movie right now, Long Legs. I haven't seen it yet. But this was Renfield. And some, I'm sure a lot of people will be like, oh, that's a terrible movie. Why did you want that? But we got a kick out of it. We liked it. And as again, I'm a, and again, I'm a big Nick Cage fan. So <laughs> there's my $5 DVD. Yes, I still buy DVDs if it's something I really like. Um, you know, I just like having them on hand, especially if I can't find it on TV or streaming services. So, okay. That was a lot, guys. Where are we at on this? Oh, I'm squinting because I thought it said 52 minutes. I was like, please tell me I haven't been talking an hour. That scared me. Um, 26 minutes. Okay, it's still long enough, and I apologize, but I do appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I had everything in here that, that as I said, I left out the little old navy top with the pumpkin and the black cats peeking out. But for the most part, this has been my spooky finds that I enjoyed and wanted to get. Um, I think I started the very end of July, and this is all accumulated. Um, yeah, I know. I have a Halloween problem, I guess. But I will say this. When I bring new stuff in, I have done a lot of cleaning out. I sell at a local consignment shop, make a little extra cash if it's something I don't feel joy for anymore. So... Don't judge me. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up. It helps the channel out. I really appreciate um, all you guys that do watch my videos. We're slowly climbing up, and I do plan on having a giveaway in October. Probably it'll be around my fall break and around my birthday time period. So it's like around October 8th, the week of October 8th. Um, if you've made it this far, let me know what you liked. And put a little ghost emoji. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos here on Cat's Kentucky Corner. And until we meet again, guys, happy tales to you. Bye. Ooh, spooky.